Hey everyone, my name is DailySlub at TGN.TV. Today we have another episode of Let's Learn How to PvP. The video series where I do some battlegrounds, you guys leave some comments and some suggestions helping me out, and I put them to great use. And in this match, we have a lot of new gear. I got my Vicious Gladiator's Pike, I got my bow, I have a full PvP set, finally. Uh, besides the trinket, actually, and I'll explain that in another video, or in my live stream. Uh, all this footage was on live stream, uh, by the way, so you can check that out, justin.tv slash deadly slob. Um, but I did miss two of my best games. In this game we go 22 million damage and 14 killing blows, 5 deaths. I know that's high death count, um, but from a first person shooter standpoint, it's not that bad. But <laughs> we're not playing one of that, we're playing some Warzone Golds today. Um, one of the most suggested tips, and I know I'm going to facepalm when I say this, is I don't use Widow ven Venom bleh, enough, and that's true. And I was talking about last video how I have a hard time killing healers. Uh, that's not necessarily the case anymore. I'm, uh, I, I do things much more effectively. Uh, I silence them, put up the Widow Venom, you know, scatter them, try to screw up as much cast as they can. I had a little fail there. I stepped on a hunter's trap that I, it seemed invisible to me. And I'm also texting. Note to self and note to viewers, do not text your girlfriend while playing World of Warcraft. Bad things will happen. Like not putting Cheetah on and your rogue that you're trying to defend runs away. But anyways, that's going to happen a couple times through this battleground, but uh, please don't pay any attention to it. Uh, for my rotation, I do a standard Serpent Sting, Chimera Shot, pop an Aim Shot. Uh, when Rapid Fire is up, I will pop that as much as possible because that will increase your cast time of your Aim Shot, which is one of your most important moves when you're doing a Marksman Hunter. Um, you know, I can't give most tips uh, because I am learning how to PvP and you guys are watching me get a lot better. Um, just a little disclaimer, I'm consistently in the top killing blows. I'm usually always the top damage, and it's a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying it a lot. So I, I'm glad that you guys enjoy watching me do this series, because it's, it's helped me a lot. And it's adding a new perspective to the game, because I'm usually only leveling lower level characters, and I raid occasionally and do some things like that. But uh, anyway, let's get back to the video. So we just see me do a nice 26k crit. We're trying to kill this Death Knight. Uh... The rogue is has the flag. Oh, mages. Is it just me, hunters? Or do you rape mages? Because I destroy them. They have no chance against me. It just so happens I am low health from fighting that death knight, that uh, hunter, the mage, um, that does high damage output because frost mages are a little OP there. This hunter is actually going to kill me. Uh, so, you know what? Big deal. <laughs> Instant res. I love that. I seen that the Serpent Sting was still ticking on that Hunter, so I decided to go take a look. Uh, but it just so happens that he actually dies from a rogue, so it wasn't a big deal. Like I said, if you see me do anything ridiculously wrong, stupid, or just want to give me some feedback, I'll leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I will read it. I'll get back to you. I'll go to those links. There's a nice 28k crit Chimera shot. You're going to be seeing a lot of high crits today. But like I was saying, uh, this is what I do. It seems to be well liked in the community uh, from uh, elitist jerks and right down to the scrub nubs. So it's a lot of fun and I hope people enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, Chimera is my best friend. And uh, I recently learned from a friend on Arena Junkies that uh, I needed 100 plus spell pens. So I replaced all my blue gems with some spell pen gems. Uh, it took me a while to actually learn that because I'm not in the PvP community at all. I'm only starting to read forms and do all that fun stuff and uh, it's interesting how we need spell pen um, but if you think about it chimera shot explosive shot arcane shot uh, i'm pretty sure cobra too uh, does nature damage it also does spell damage uh, i could have been wrong with that nature thing but anyway um so you need at least 100 spell damage to penetrate that mark of the wild and all that shield stuff that would reduce your damage normally uh, but now uh, besides resilience your abilities will be able to be used to full effectiveness uh, if that makes any sense I died again I got really overwhelmed there uh, not a big deal top and damage top and killing blows a lot of fun uh, so we're just gonna keep moving on what can you do you die in battlegrounds sometimes you do stupid things the one thing I've learned the most is stick with your teammates you never know they may be a healer or they may be able to support you somehow 
but it's one of the most things I'm going to attempt to show in some of my future PvP videos because it's the most recent thing I've learned that's most important. Sometimes I believe I'm like the freaking bounty hunter over here and just like one shotting people in the head, but no, in all honesty, I usually get bitch slapped when I run on my own. Uh, another thing that was most suggested that I have not done but I'm working on uh, is uh, macroing my shots with my aspects. So I'll have a, you know, slash, exclamation mark, cast macro uh, for my chimera and aim shot and one for my uh, steady shot. So we'll be able to switch aspects uh, between shots, which is a, a really nice tip, guys. I'm sorry I didn't implement it sooner, uh, but it will be in next video. It's just a little little things that I got to work on. But I can see how that can be a major difference because whenever you're steady shotting, it will automatically switch to fox and you'll be able to gain uh, focus back quicker and you'll also be able to run while shooting so if anybody's wondering uh, what the macro for that is um, I'm not too sure of it myself so if you can please leave in the comment section below I can dig it up for you guys um, but once I implement it I'll tell you what my macros are because I'm currently using only a few I'm using a disengage macro uh, which can works conjunction with my spider one of the most uh, asked questions last video was why is your spider always on passive and I want to use its abilities I don't want it to run around like a chicken with its head cut off when I need it to do rend or not rend web or do something like that or use one of its abilities and I don't want it to just you know get LOS really quick if I wanted to attack a target I have it macro to my mark uh, hunters mark so whenever I cast my hunter's mark my pet will follow that particular target until it's either dead or it's too far away then I'll call it back it's not a big deal. But you know what? That's life. I like my new add on. It's called JS Hunter's Bar. Uh, you can find that at curse.com. It's pretty awesome. It does a lot of different things. Like it'll tell you if you don't uh, have your hunter's mark on a target, like you can see there. If you need a trank shot, a target, a nice 31k chimera right there. It'll also tell you uh, what misdirect target you are um, in a party, like for an instance. I also tell you, your party that if you dispelled something with your trank shot as well. So it's a really handy tool. I almost killed this guy. I put the Widow Venom on this guy. He gets healed. Uh, I don't know what the hell just happened there. So I switch onto this Boomkin. This Death Knight is on me. I pop a trap. His pet eats it. So it doesn't really... No, he took it. Sorry. A little error on my end. I'm running away. You know what? I'm sticking with my buddies. Just like I said earlier. I'm like pretty much about to die if I was to stick around there so I pop deterrence pop disengage come back to my buddies try to kill this death knight I'm pretty sure I get it with a non crit kill shot just a bunch of damage right there I'm really enjoying the hunter damage right now I think we're pretty balanced uh, you can argue that in the comment section but I think we're in a pretty good position right here we do decent damage in PvP survivability is nice uh, PVE damage is really high. I think we're hunters is at all all, bleh, all time fix. I think it's pretty good. Uh, you know, I had my doubts when Cataclysm first came out, and yes, it was in a pretty rough spot. But I believe Blizzard fixed it. My most favorite change was the hunter thing. I or the pet thing. I hated leveling up a new pet, especially for PVP. I was rocking like an 84 spider in PVP because I didn't want to level that bastard up. It takes a long time. So what I used to do when I tamed Sambus and uh, when I tamed other pets was just do my dailies and have the pet out. And eventually they'll get up to uh, your max level. So that's a little tip. If you're trying to level up a pet, you know, bring it out when you're doing your dailies. It's not a big deal. You can uh, do some damage. You'll be able to survive uh, long enough. So we're in the cave trying to chase down uh, all these guys that are trying to kill our flag bearer. Uh, I really don't understand what happens here. We have the, the flag, the Alliance doesn't, you know, they take it right now, but we have most of our team up there in the flag room. So I sit back and I try to kill this Boomkin, I thought it was a Resto Druid at the time, um, so I, I, I tried to kill him or get him away so he wouldn't be able to heal his buddies. Silencing him, scattering him, doing as much things as I possibly can. He runs into me so I couldn't cast my aim shot at the last second, uh, but you know what, he's going to die, 21k crit. Uh, white damage right there kills him and this is what I mean our whole team's up here no one is chasing the flag oh I just face palm I don't know where the hell ever like where did he even go um, so that's where I attempt to go find out just you know 
the team it makes the difference <laughs> if you can do a battleground with your friends do it guys I hate pugging battlegrounds. I usually roll with my friend Protox. He's a really good uh, resto druid sometimes. You haven't seen him yet, but I'm talking to him, and he might be interested in doing some videos for uh, conjunction videos for me. He's pretty rough on vent. He's a funny guy, but if you guys have, are on the live stream, you'll know who he is <laughs> for sure. That's another benefit of the live stream. You know, we have the Ventrilla open. We have some pretty awesome conversations, and we do a lot of things for the viewers too, so it's a lot of fun. This Elemento Shaman, you know, he thinks he's Percunus, 1385, you know, trying to kill me. Um, so I pop a uh, Disin Deterrence, sorry. It sounds so much the same. We're killing the Flag Bearer. I don't think it's going to happen. They got the Resto Druid on him. I silence him. I fly back. The Frost Mage, who's seeking revenge on my ass, will actually Ice Lance me to death because I am one shot. So I'm just trying to silence the Druid as much as I possibly can. Trying to fuck up his day. And it actually doesn't happen. You know, <laughs> I, he's so close. I'm waiting for that kill shot to pop. And it's coming. I know it's coming. Oh, 25k crit. He actually does die. So there we go. And the mage gets his revenge. Well-deserved revenge on that little bastard fucking gnome. But you know what? It happens. Frost mages. Play a hunter if you're pissed about them. Because really, you can silence them twice in a second with readiness. You can scatter them. You can disengage away. You can deterrence their spells. You can feign death while they're casting. You can web them to the ground and get out of range. There's a lot of things you can do. But at the same time, they can do a lot of things to you. So, you know, an experienced frost mage will be able to kill a hunter. Uh, but I'm pretty sure a, a really experienced hunter could pwn... Uh, frost mage i don't know i'll leave that up for debate for you guys so if you see anything that i'm doing wrong like i said earlier leave in the comment section below if you made it this far congratulations you're probably one of the only few people who actually watch my videos all the way through and there we go nice 37k crit on this uh, priest that is rocking the pve gear oh man i love seeing those high crits guys a nice 29k crit to follow that one up as well. So I'm just critting like a storm here. I usually crit a lot more too. Uh, so the elemental shaman that I said I was going to kill last time, I, I lied. So now it's the time for the ultimate showdown. Me and this Ellie shaman, uh, I got the best of them. He's silenced, 29k crit. This hunter's pet's on me. See, this is a good example of how you don't want your pet running around with a chicken with a head cut off because he's on me. The shaman dies. I'm actually pretty low health. So what he does is onx and he tries to thunderfuck me. The problem with that is it missed and it didn't even work. So, uh, you know what? I feigned death through his first lava blast or burst. Uh, he gets me with the second one, but a 28k crit uh, kills him. So the hunter is coming back for the revenge. Uh, this hunter uh, is pretty good at catching me at low health. Uh, we did have one encounter a lot earlier in the, the battleground, but he actually kills me here. So I fell into his trap, which is not a good move on my, my part. I should have been a little, much more aware. So, I know the video is going to be over uh, in a few more minutes, but unfortunately I do die again trying to chase the flag carrier down. Uh, this was a pretty bad match uh, team-wise, but you know what? I thought it was an alright game. I wanted to post a video out here. I'm working now in a second job, so uh, it's going to be a lot less frequent that I make these videos. And it has been a long time since I released a PvP video. So just got giving you guys an update on my gear. You can check my armory, but it's a big bitch to find. Uh, I don't even know how to correctly go about doing it because I have that little funky thing in my name. Sometimes I wonder why I even do that, but you know what? The cost is worth the price for the sweet ass name. So I pop the, the trap down. You know what? That does literally nothing to this DK. He'll actually end up killing me. The priest is coming here. We got a druid and a, uh, like I said, the priest. I DC for a quick second. Doesn't make a difference. I try to slow this the flag carrier, the druid, as much as I possibly can. I got the concussive shot on him. Uh, but this this death knight is just literally ripping me a new one. So what I have to do is I try to scatter trap him. Uh, but like I did earlier, I already laid down my trap. So that was not possible. Uh, the hunter's here. It's, it's over for me. I'm dead. And that's the game. So I hope you guys enjoy this small little PvP footage of Wars and Golds. 2.2 million damage, 14 killing blows, 5 deaths. Leave those comments uh, below. Tell me what I need to do. Uh, any tips and tricks. 
Uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Please don't troll me too much. I've had way too much of that recently. Uh, so um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next video. Should be either PvP or Precunus 60 to 65, a series that you guys enjoy so much. Uh, so thank you guys for watching.